Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this coming weekend is my husband's birthday. So I'm gonna make him his favorite cake, which is a Brazilian cake called bolo gelado. That means cold cake. So it's basically a vanilla cake. Once you take out of the oven, you don't take out of the pan. And then you make some holes in the inside of the cake. And then you pour about three cups of milk and coconut milk together all on top of it and then the cake really absorbs all the liquid and then for the topping you make it it's almost like a custard that goes on top then you put some shredded coconut on top aluminum foil and goes to the fridge for at least 24 hours the more you leave it in the fridge more moist and more you know cold it gets it's such an easy cake to make but it adds so delicious. And there's two things that you can do. Either you can leave in the pan, because you cannot take it out of the pan because it's so moist that it's gonna break it, right? So either you can just cut it and serve like this, or you can cut in little squares and then you wrap it inside aluminum foil and then you close it just like a little wrapping and it looks so cute on the table, you know? You just serve like this and then the person open the wrap and there's this delicious, moist cake inside. So, mm, it's so good. Okay, let's start. Okay, so over here I already have two cups of sugar and now I'm gonna add four room temperature eggs. And we're gonna beat this into it's like this creamy pale yellow. Okay, now we're gonna start adding the three cups of flour that are already sifted and one cup of milk. So I'll add a little bit of each and then I'll beat. So now, the last ingredient is the baking powder. So it's about one tablespoon of it. And I'm gonna also sift it. Now I'm gonna mix it. So now I have my pan that I already coated with uh, butter and flour. I'm gonna put the batter here. Okay, so now this goes on a 350 preheated oven. I'll say for, a, for about 25 minutes or so. Okay, so now we're gonna start making the topping of the cake, which is a vanilla cream. So over here, I'm gonna put one can of condensed milk. Now one can of uh, whole milk with one tablespoon of cornstarch. We need to dissolve this first before we add to the pan. Now one egg yolk. Okay, so now we're gonna cook this until it becomes this thick cream, almost like a custard. This is like a medium heat, so I'll have to stay here for a while. Okay, I've had me here for about 10 minutes now, and now it's finally getting thick, see? Like this beautiful cream. We're gonna leave it here a little bit more until it starts to boil and get a little bit more thick. So to this cream here now, I'm gonna add the media crema and then the vanilla. But I cannot do this now because it's like boiling hot. But I also cannot leave it just like this. I cannot just stop mixing. Otherwise, it will become like this thick layer on top. We don't want that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a plastic film. I'm gonna put just on top. touching the cream like this. So this will prevent from becoming this, you know, thick crust on top. So I'm just gonna leave here on the side until it's like room temperature and then we're gonna add the other stuff. Okay, my cake is ready. Like this beautiful, like this beautiful golden, look how beautiful, and very fluffy too. Okay, the cake's still very hot. Now over here I have one cup and a half of whole milk and one cup and a half of coconut milk. 
and maybe one tablespoon of sugar, okay? I mix everything. And, and with the cake here, I'm gonna do holes, a bunch of holes, so the liquid can penetrate. You want to do the holes, otherwise if you just pour the liquid, the liquid is gonna run to the sides. You want the liquid to go inside the cake. So for that, you need a hose. And now with the help of the spoon, I'm gonna start pouring. Start with the middle, in the middle. In a little bit, you won't see any more of the liquid because the cake will absorb. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit until it absorbs everything. In the meanwhile, let me put this here. I think this is good now. And I'm gonna add the media cream and then the vanilla. See, it's this very velvet, beautiful cream that is so tasteful because of the media cream. I'm gonna add our vanilla. There's a little bit of liquid still. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the cream on top. Now I'm gonna put the whole cream here. Now for the topping, I'm gonna put some coconut, red coconut. I'm also gonna chop some walnuts and I'm gonna put a little bit on top. This is optional, you don't have to if you don't like or don't want. Look how beautiful. <laughs> okay, so the only thing left to do, I'm gonna put the aluminum foil. Okay, the cake is ready to go in the fridge, like I said, for about 24 hours. And uh, in this time, it's gonna finish absorbing all the liquid and so delicious. So my cake has been in the fridge for about 24 hours now. And remember that I told you that there is two ways that you can serve. See the cake? So like I said, you can serve like this. You can just cut it and serve like this or we wrap it. So I'm gonna wrap it so you can see how it looks. I love it if you put it like in a beautiful plate like this. It looks just so cute and so different, you know, to have all the little cakes wrapped up and uh, you last so much longer in the fridge too because you'll be, you know, wrapped. Let's start to cut. I'm going to put it here. Look how adorable. Imagine you open up and you see this. How cute. It's super moist and delicious and very gooey. Mm. So we just wrap it like a little present. Just like this. Okay, everyone, so this is it. Look how cute it looks. You know, so tomorrow when um, everybody's here, we're gonna sing happy birthday, and then each one is gonna get one and open up and it's a surprise inside. This is good too for kids birthday party, you know? It's fun, you don't have to cut. It's something different that you can put in your table. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put the recipe on my description box, of course. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Parabéns pra você Nesta data querida Muitas
muitas felicidades, muitos anos de vida. Parabéns pra você nessa data querida. Muitas felicidades, muitos anos de vida. E por que nada? Oh my gosh, she has so much. My mom, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa. Brandon. Wow. Just wow. Now.